Hi everyone. Uh, this video is about uh, sprengel uh, shoulder, uh, also known as the congenital elevation of the scapula. Uh, what happens is the scapula lies at the level of uh, C4 and C5 uh, at the fifth week of gestation and migrates caudally to uh, below T3 uh, by 12 weeks. But failure, uh, but failure to uh, descent results in a high, small, and wide scapula that is mal rotated compared to the opposite side and uh, most of the time it, it is also asso associated with uh, some fibrous band or homo vertebral bone that extends from the vertebral border to the scapula and uh, this homo vertebral bone along with the mal rotated uh, scapula uh, greatly hampers the glenohumeral movement and uh, scapular thoracic movement. So this is basically uh, what is the pathology in the uh, sprengel shoulder. So uh, and along with uh, this pathology, all muscles uh, so, uh, which are around the scapula and the spine they are also contracted. They gets contracted. Uh, the, uh, what are the muscles? Uh, let's see, here is the normally, so this is the spine, here is the levator scapula and rhomboidus minor and rhomboidus major is there and trapezius is all, all over there. So these muscles are uh, will be contracted uh, due to uh, the spindle shoulder and association, uh, there will be association with uh, may be association with cervical ribs, malformation of ribs, clapal field syndrome, kidney disease, pulmonary disease, or scoliosis. And uh, in a patient of uh, sprengel shoulder, you should uh, one should look for the back for the hairy patches uh, uh, because they are harbingers of the any underlying spinal pathology. So there is one uh, grading. That is called as the Cavendish uh, grading. That is a clinical uh, grading of the uh, for spindle shoulder that we will see further in this video and the treatment. But actually, uh, we uh, uh, if we divide the spindle sh uh, shoulder, we if we classify it according to Cavendish grading. So in grade one, there is a no visible, um, very minimal. Uh, uh, deformity will be seen with the uh, dress on and in uh, grade 2 there will be mild uh, deformity and in grade 3 uh, one can see the upriding scapula and, and in grade 4 the angu uh, supra scapular angle will be very close to the occiput and they, they, they will, there will be waving of neck. So for uh, mild cases we usually go for conservative treatment and for uh, moderate to severe cases where the uh, uh, scapulohumeral uh, movement and scapulothoracic movement is grossly affected, we go for the surgery. So base time for surgery is 3 to 8 years. And after that, there is a high chance of neurovascular injury associated with the surgery. And uh, what surgery we do, the, uh, basically what we do, we do, we cut either we cut uh, basically cut the spinal muscles uh, sorry paraspinal muscles or uh, parascapular muscles and uh, 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 bring the scapula to his normal anatomical position and uh, we uh, fix that uh, uh, tie that is scapula there only so uh, uh, it respect uh, to where it is, where the paraspinal or parascapular muscles are cut, it is uh, uh, divided in, uh, into the uh, different procedure. Like usually we do a green procedure. In green procedure, we cut the paraspinal muscles from the scapula and relocate the scapula and fix there. And in uh, Woodward's, uh, Woodward's procedure, we actually uh, cut the parascapular muscles from the 
spinal origin and uh, relocate the scapula like here and uh, suturing of muscles are done then or in one more uh, procedure we can uh, bony procedure we can vertically uh, do the osteotomy at a scapula and uh, relocate it and then fix it with the uh, scapula so going back to the text so what uh, we have already discussed the normal anatomy that uh, at five weeks uh, it li scapula lies at the c4 c5 uh, level and migrates cordially uh, below t3 by 12 weeks of gestation and failure to descend uh, resulting into high riding small and wide scapula that is mal rotated as compared to the opposite side so uh, here the scapula is short wide and mal rotated and usually associated with fibrous band as we have already discussed are, these are the association and uh, dysplasia of muscles will be there there is a cavendish grade, grading mild moderate minimal mild moderate severe in minimal uh, unobservable when patient is raised and shoulder joint at same, same level in mild form we will see the prominence in the neck and in mo moderate shoulder joint at high, higher level 2 to 5 cm as compared to opposite side and in severe deformity super, superior angular scapula near it will be near the occiput as we have discussed the treatment so there is a green proce uh, greens procedure in which the extra periosteal detachment of the scapular insert, ins insertion like we have seen here extra uh, periosteal detachment of the paraspinal muscles and reattachment after scapula is moved distally and in Woodward's procedure detachment and reattachment of the paraescapular muscles at their origin at spinal process that also we have seen paraspinal paraescapular muscles are detached and reattached from the spinous process uh, it is uh, detached first and after re relocating the scapula at the anatomical level it is reattached again and uh, there, there are uh, two more procedure for that one is classic procedure and one is wilkinson's and campbell's vertical scapular osteotomy in classic procedure cla clavicular osteotomy is done extensive muscle release excision of superior scapular margin and suture the repositioned scapula with spinous process and ribs. And in Wilkinson's and Campbell's vertical scapular osteotomy is done. And the uh, scapula is then repositioned. Thank you.